being in another country is just a very different experience and it's hard to even describe what it's like. So this research was on the diaries of Dr. Maria Mahdi. Dr. Mahdi was a physician in Budapest during the Second World War, and she was isolated from her family. Um, her daughter had moved to the United States right before the war started, so she was kind of alone in Budapest. And she started writing journals while she was there. And once the United States entered the war in 1941, she was unable to communicate with her daughter at all. The mail service was suspended between Hungary because they were an ally of Germany. The journals were a way for her to kind of keep track of her daily life so that she could eventually give it to her daughter at the end of the war. One of the people she took into her apartment was a young Jewish boy named Alfred Lakos. He was seven years old at the time, and he's actually still alive today. At the beginning of this project, we were able to have an audio call with him to kind of just get some of his experience with the journals and with Dr. Mahdi. It was a really surreal experience to be able to talk to somebody that was actually in the apartment with Dr. Mahdi and to actually have that lived experience. For me, it was beneficial for myself to be able to apply the concepts I've been learning in my classes. I mean, we do a lot of primary source analysis um, and stuff like that in our history classes. It was amazing to actually be there and physically be able to see some of like the census material and the building plans for places she had been. As an undergrad, it was a wonderful opportunity. Not many other students get the opportunity to go do research abroad, which was great because we had started doing work here, but it really was very helpful for us to go and work at the Budapest City Archives and actually see the places that we were writing about. One day we kind of did an exploration of Budapest and we found the actual apartment that she lived in while she was writing these journals. And the apartment's still there, it's still standing. And in her journals a lot too, she talks about how there was a schoolhouse near where she lived that was actually um, a local Gestapo headquarters it's where a lot of Nazi soldiers were. And you're able to walk down the street and see this actual school building. So it's different to read about it, but then to actually be there and kind of see exactly what she was seeing was a different experience, but was able to kind of create, give me greater context in the kind of world she was living in. History is still a living subject, and being able to actually work with one of these new sources, seeing how history is revised and edited and continued was a great experience and a great way to see how the history subject is still alive today.